<laughs> Mine too. <laughs> Good lord. Who gives this woman to wed this man? trying to reach for quite some time. But let's not forget that life is about lots of wars. This is where Colin comes in. <laughs> I've known Colin for several years now, but I would like to mention it did not take long for me to realize that he is a respectable, hardworking, sharp, and successful individual. All of these qualities are great, but I think many would agree it's almost tough to pick on such a stellar citizen. <laughs> and I, as I have come to know you as a couple, I have seen that you both care deeply. You both put in the effort. You both want the best for each other, individually and as a team. I see that you are not only a couple, but you are best friends. As long as you focus on each other, and being the best partner possible, you will surely have an outstanding marriage. With this being said, always remember that with God being the most important, important part of your marriage, it will not easily be broken. The following passage is a great example. Two are better than one, because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. And a cord of three strands is not easily broken. <clears throat> Sydney and Colin, please look at one another and remember this moment in time as you declare your love for one another. From now on, no matter what challenges you face, you will face them together. And no matter how much you succeed, you will succeed together. Colin, do you take Sydney to be your wedded wife? Do you promise to love her, to comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and to remain faithful to her as long as you both shall live? Sydney. Do you take Colin to be your wedded husband? Do you promise to love him, to comfort him, honor and keep him in second sickness and in health, and to remain faithful to him as long as you shall live? Now the rings. The ring is a material symbol that has been designed to illustrate the spiritual truth. The ring has two important characteristics. First, the ring is a circle. A circle has no beginning and it has no end. They last forever. No matter what hard times may come, the ring symbolizes your never ending commitment to one another. Also, rings are made of precious metals, such as silver or gold. Such materials grow more and more valuable with age, also symbolizing your relationship with that will continue to grow and become more valuable over the years to come. Colin, take this ring, place it on Sydney's finger, and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of love and faithfulness to you. Sydney, take this ring. Place it on Colin's finger and repeat after me. 
I give you this ring as a symbol of love and faithfulness to you. And a small piece of advice before we seal this deal. Like I said before, life is about the journey. Don't wait around for someday. Enjoy the ride together as you go. Always appreciate where you are now. And in marriage, the little things are the big things. Say I love you at least once every day. Even when Sydney blows a bunch of money on the expensive name brand grocery items. <laughs> Always communicate with each other and never be afraid to tell each other how you feel. And so now, by the power vested in me, it is my honor to declare you husband and wife. Colin, you may kiss your bride. just like to say a few words before we get started with the formal speeches, um, but before we do all that, can we please just take a moment and acknowledge how absolutely beautiful my new life is. has been a surreal experience. We've had a ton of fun, but it's come with its own challenges. We just wanted to take a moment and thank everyone for being here today. The level of support, well wishes, time, effort that everyone has taken to make this day possible is truly humbling. Never in our wildest dreams could we have imagined that so many people would care enough to reach out or make this much of an effort to acknowledge us on our special day. <laughs> Weddings are often referred to as your day. The your being the bride and groom, Sydney and myself. And while we understand that and appreciate the sentiment, we cannot gloss over the fact that this is as much a day for all of us as it is for Sydney and I. If it were not for the people in this room and those that could not be here physically with us, we would not be where we are today. Through the love, support, help, and guidance of everyone here, we are fortunate to stand in front of you and celebrate. For everything everyone has, everyone here has done for us, we would like to say thank you, and we are both so appreciative of you. Today's pretty important, you know, my best friend's getting married to an amazing woman. And so I thought maybe I should record it here. So, just a little bit for here. So, if you don't know me, my name is Jake Finlan. I've been friends with Colin since second grade, or about seven years old, six, seven years old. And we graduated through eighth grade, and then through high school together. And we practically grew up at each other's houses. Uh, countless nights playing Gears of War, Xbox, anything we probably shouldn't have been playing at that age, but uh, thank you, Miss Cosby, for being lenient on that. But one of the things uh, that we did through many of those sleepovers that we had as little kids is we promised each other that we'd be each other's best friend one day. Well, we're on track. We got one for one. So, Colin, you're like the second brother to me, and I couldn't be more proud of you than I am right now. You found Sydney, an amazing, caring woman, to follow you on life's journey. And it didn't happen easily, and I know we've hinted at that plenty tonight, so we won't hit it again. But, you know, with that persistence and that little bit of charm, you won her over, and here you two are today. 
So on your wedding day, more than, more than four years later, Sydney, thank you for loving Colin. And thank you for taking care of my brother from another mother. <laughs> Colin, congrats to you, man. I'm so happy for you and beyond excited for, for you and for Sydney's future together. Cheers to the new Mr. and Mrs. Godsby.
For those who don't know me, my name is Gabe, and I am absolutely honored to be celebrating this wonderful day with everyone here. If you would have told me in 2014 that someday I'd be standing at Colin's wedding, I'd have two very important questions for you. Number one, which one of us ended up wearing the dress? <laughs> and number two, did we end up choosing Taco Bell or Hoo Ha for the catering? <laughs> Thankfully, life has turned out much better than either of us could have imagined when we were 18, and I couldn't be happier to watch Colin start the next chapter with the love of his life. I first met Colin in the fall of 2010 when Destiny intervened and two young men with impeccable fashion taste realized they were wearing the same pair of boxer-patched, light-washed American Eagle jeans. <laughs> Over the next few years, as I got to know Colin better, it was easy to see that this wasn't simply just a high school friendship, but someone that I would have the privilege of singing Maroon 5 with for the rest of my life. From friends, teammates, roommates, to now co-workers, it has been great to watch Colin stay true to himself while continuing to grow. I first met Sydney through a mutual friend. One night when arriving home, I heard a muffled whimpering coming from Colin's room. At first, I figured it was just him getting into touch with his sensitive side. But after a few minutes, I decided to check on him, and to my pleasant surprise, met Daisy the dog. Daisy was truly love at first sight for me, and we shared a wonderful evening together. I assumed that Daisy was Colin's new pet, but soon figured out that the very man who days before had mentioned he had no plans to date for the foreseeable future was on a date with his future wife. It wasn't hard to see that Colin was smitten with Sydney from the start. At the start of their relationship, Colin had her over for dinner, and knowing that she liked wine, had a bottle of both red and white to ensure that all the bases were covered. He paid attention to the small things, ensuring everything was perfect. Although the next few weeks were a series of confusing times for Isaac, our other roommate and I, as Colin would make both elaborate and sizable meals just to give them to someone other than us. It was awesome watching their relationship grow. Thankfully, it didn't take long for Sydney to earn Isaac and I's approval when she brought us cookies when coming to visit Colin, as we are pretty easy people to please. Over the next few years, I continued to get to know Sydney better, and it was clear to see that Colin and her were the perfect match. Sydney, you simply couldn't have chosen a better person to spend the rest of your life with. Colin is the most hardworking, devoted, and persistent person I've ever met. I've never seen him back down from a challenge and know that he is well equipped to lead a marriage well. My advice to each of you is this. Choose each other every day. When life is busy, make sure you prioritize quality time with one another, finding new and exciting ways to strengthen your relationship. Never stop challenging each other to become the best version of yourselves and take time to celebrate the victories and milestones that are reached along the way. Most importantly, do not, under any circumstances, speak poorly of the way each other cooks their scrambled eggs. <laughs> now, if everyone will please raise their glass and join me in a toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Colin Cosby. Cheers. supposed to talk generous, but the best for last, right? I don't think that's true because I wrote the speech last minute last night. You do the best under pressure. So, here we go. Howdy, everyone. It's great to see y'all. I'm Shay, Cindy's cousin, for those who don't know me. For those who do know me, know I'm ready for another drink. <laughs> half and half, baby. My mom's shaking her head right now. <laughs> It's great seeing everyone here to celebrate Sydney and Colin. I truly feel thankful for everybody coming out in Sydney for asking me to talk tonight. I remember when Sydney sent me a picture of a cute Mizzou boy. I didn't know from the picture that he was the one, but shortly after I met Colin and saw how he, seated, how he treated Sydney, I knew this could be it. Colin, you're filling big shoes. David has always and will always treat Sydney like his princess which can also be kind of difficult. I've also never seen a grown man cry so much. <laughs> he 
he's crying right now. <laughs> Anyways, Colin, Sydney owes me a lot of third wheel dates, so you're in for a ride. Speaking of rides, if you plan on coming onto a legendary family camping trip, be ready for Sheila's live news, some freshly made lemonade by Weston, and a good time. Anyways, let's talk about me and Sydney growing up. First, you should know her nickname is Dollface because she's absolutely stunning. Can I get a yee-haw for the bride and groom of how great they look tonight? Yeah! Sydney, growing up with you was so much fun, and I'll never forget the memories we shared together. Sydney was always passionate about dance and cheer growing up, and she always tried to pass it down to her little cousins that really just had the white girl news and really couldn't shake their butts that much. <laughs> It ended up with us destroying Sydney's closet with all of her dance costumes, Tracy getting mad, and letting us know she was the one that wore the pants in the house. <laughs> anyway, so, there was one time we destroyed Sydney's closet. Tracy came up mad because she had to clean it all up, and I looked at Sydney. I said, she's kind of scary. <laughs> She was a cool aunt, but also kind of scary. Anyways, Colin, I want you to know that Briscoe and William's blood that runs in the family has sure passed down to Sydney. And we don't even get even with people, we get ahead. Quoted by David. If you do happen to slip up, one of the family members, and if one of the family members doesn't catch you, and if you don't get the shame finger from Nan, the family ghost will in fact kick your ass. Just ask David. <laughs> but Colin, don't worry. I do want you to know our family is very welcoming and loving. Nothing feels more at home than a gathering together with games, food, booze, and of course a blessing from Papa. I know you both will be a great fit in each other's families. Colin and Sydney, I wish you the very best. Always put each other first. Let Sydney dance on the table, eat some pickles. Sydney, honor Colin, Colin's gym times and make the most of it all. Always say I love you even when times are tough. I want to say thank you for everyone again and to our sponsor tonight, The Beverage Hut. Also on behalf of David and, and Tracy Mortensen, uh, thank you all for coming this evening. And so uh, before we uh, eat our meal, I thought I would ask uh, gratitude and blessing on those here and on our meal. So if you'll bow with me. Dear Lord, we gather today in gratitude and with the spirit of celebration. We thank you for bringing together Colin and Sydney in love and joining them forever.